All right, what is up guys? It is Bazzi here today, back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be covering three things that I think will improve Black Ops 3 Zombies. And you know, some of these changes will be big, some of them will be small, but they're just things that would make the game just that little bit better. And I know these things won't happen now because you know, the game's been out for ages, but I'm gonna make this video because you know, I had these, I've been thinking, I've, I've had these thoughts in my head for a while and you know I or I, I've knew I've known these things for a while and they could be they they'd make the game a little bit more interesting more entertaining and it would just make it more of a polished black Ops zombies and you think well what do you mean it's not polished the game's done it's it's a great game but there's still a few things that I think they can add and we're going to get into those in no particular order here are three things I think that uh, can make zombies better so, my first thing that I was thinking of, well, once Grotokovi was released, they uh, added a timer into the map so you'd know how long you've been into the game for, and that was introduced because of a, a time race thing where you could, a time challenge where, you know, if you got past the first, like, five rounds really fast, you'd be rewarded a melee weapon and so on, and you keep getting different weapons, and, um... You keep getting often if you keep getting to high rounds in a short amount of time and get new weapons and that would basically happen so that was really cool would tell you what time you're at and this could be used for going to high rounds and all that type of stuff so then revelations was released and they then added that again because there was another time challenge and it's really good because revelations it's a really fast map to speed run all that type of stuff so it's good to have the timer up in the corner to know you know what time you're at but the thing is this was never later added back to the other maps. Now, I don't see why they didn't do this. It'd be really good if it was in Shadows of Evil, the Eyes and Drag, Zed Sabo, all the Chronicles maps. And what I was really surprised is that they didn't add it to Chronicles, even though Chronicles was made after these DLCs and they could have easily added in. I think that's being a little bit lazy on their part if you think about it, because it's just a timer, it's a really cool feature, and they could have easily added this in the Chronicles, and it would have been awesome if they did. You know, it's just that nice little feature that you like when speed running. You don't know what time you're at. You know, if you're getting to round 100, slow or fast. If the spot is fast, how how fast the rounds are going. So that's one thing that I would love to see back. But onto the second part. This is more of a this is more of a like a more you know a bigger change, but you know during the course of the Black Ops 3 Zombies year from the first was out. Uh, as soon as we got Shadows Evil, we were introduced to a new perk, Widow's Wine, and Widow's Wine is one of the greatest perks in Black Ops 3. In fact, one of the greatest perks ever made. It is such a good perk. It can save you in, like, any situation, and it is a great perk, and what I was a little bit disappointed about, you know, through the course of the year of Black Ops 3, is that there wasn't any other perks added. Now, Jason Blundell did say in, um, uh, uh, a few interviews that he'd uh, been interviewed by, like, uh, Mr. Ruffle Waffles, you know, Mr. Dalek JD, and all those guys, and he'd actually been asked, well, why weren't there any more perks added than just the one perk? And it was because, well, he said he didn't feel that there were any other perks that would be useful enough that people would use, and it wouldn't be just, like, a waste of time adding it to the game, which, you know, he has a fair point, but, you know, I still think it would have been cool just to add things because, you know, you got the Perkaholic, everybody gets perks of Perkaholic, so it'd be used anyway. But, you know, there's a few cool perks that are in Infinite Warfare that, you know, they could have done in Black Ops 3 that, you know, are actually pretty useful. But, you know, I'm sure, you know, they, they might have experimented with other perks, but, you know, that's something I would have liked to see. Unfortunately, we didn't get all the perks, but that is okay. But anyway, uh, that is my second, you know, thing I'd like to see added, but unfortunately, we didn't get, but we didn't get that, but... That is okay. So the last one here is, uh, as you guys would know, in Black Ops 3, you have weapon kits. And weapon kits is where you can add attachments to guns. You can put camos on them, custom attachments, and customize the gun how to you how you want it to be. Like you can buy, like this is for guns that you can grab off the wall. You guys already know this. Guns you get out of the box. And what I would have really liked to see in Black Ops 3 is... Weapon kits for every weapon. Now, you know, well, what are you saying? They're up for every weapon, you know, besides Wonder Weapons. We're not including Wonder Weapons here because there's a reason why you don't have attachments on Wonder Weapons. It's not needed and it'd be way too overpowered. But 
we don't have ones for like the weapons that are in the box that you know so for example the hd40 that was added to zetsubo no shima the razorback and the marshals the mx grand they added to zetsubo no shima but there's no weapon kits for those and i know it's only on zetsubo no shima well not all of the guns are only on zetsubo but i still think it would be cool if they added a weapon kit for those guns so even when you're on one of those maps that use those weapons if you get it from the box you still will have uh attachments on that gun and I know those weapons aren't on Shadows of Evil, but playing, saying you saying you were playing Shadows of Evil for that map, you wouldn't get those weapons, and that's all good. But when you are playing a map, it'd be cool because you know there were other weapons added in um, uh, Revelations, like the Alcar. I mean, not the Alcar, the the electric pistol thing. I forgot what it's called. The whatever, the Banshee, and all those other guns that were added. The PDW, uh, not the PDW. The yeah, I've literally forgot the name of it. That assault rifle, man. Peacekeeper, that's the one. Peacekeeper. We didn't get any weapon attachments for those, which, you know, I think they could have done it. It wouldn't be that hard. And I know there are attachments on them from when you get them out of the box, but it would have been cool if they added, you know, a weapon kit for those weapons. And also, what I liked about Infinite Warfare, the one thing I liked about Infinite Warfare Zombies, which was pretty cool, is that you can actually put weapon attachments on the starting pistol. And I think that would have been cool for, like, the MR6 too. Maybe not camos, because I feel like that takes away, like, the feel of the starting pistol. But, you know, being able to put maybe, like, you know, your quick draw, your extended mags, your long barrel, your rapid fire, all that type of stuff. Not a Kimbo. I think that's a bit too overpowered, because I know you can put a Kimbo. But anyway, um, yeah, that would have been cool. But, um, yeah, that's basically my three ways I think Black Ops 3 Zombies could be improved. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If we could get 30, 40 likes, that'd be awesome. Smash that like. I'd much, much appreciate that. The new schedule video that I made yesterday. If you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. Like, I'll link it top of the description. Check out yesterday's video if you haven't seen it. And the rest of this week will be videos. I know I was supposed to stream today. I said Friday, Saturday, Sunday will be stream. But because I'm just getting into this, I'm going to make a video today. And next week, I'll have stream ideas. And then we'll be doing that. So video tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then because I actually, my last day is... um. Uh, Friday, or, or I don't go to school next Friday. Uh, Thursday's my last day, so we'll be streaming Friday. Oh, was, we'll be streaming Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night next, or this week coming, because I'm actually on school holidays. This is my last week. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, everybody. Beautiful morning. Yeah, the sun, my morning, baby.